Okay, so welcome to Exploring PTS Primo Charts. Uh, this is our seventh uh, session, and we are going to talk about or continue to talk about the custom scanners. Today, we are going to talk about the breakout scanners. So now I'm going to change my screen to PTS Primo Charts and uh, do a quick review of what we've learned about custom scanners so far. So the standard scanners on PTS Primo Charts are like the multi-scanner and the scanners that are available under each one of the strategies. Uh, the difference between the scanners uh, from each one of the strategies and the multi-scanner is that in the multi-scanner, you can check scanners for all of the strategies that you own. Instead of scanning for one strategy, you can scan for all of them at the same time. Uh, we also learn about uh, the PTS Stream Trend Scanner and the Visor Line Scanner. And the difference between these two and the multi-scanner is the fact that they have a, a bar count on the right-hand side, uh, which will tell you for how many days that particular symbol has been on an extreme trend or above or below the Visor Line. So if you see here on the example, uh, the bar count for ALGN is 13. So that means that that particular symbol has been for 13 days on um, extreme trend on the upper side. Uh, and the Weiser line will show you the bar count as well. So let's do the uh, SMP, the Dow 30 and link the chart to the scanner. And you can see on the right-hand side, uh, those numbers. So that's basically the difference. And also the ability to send the list or to save the list with the results, which is not available on the multi-scanner. Another thing that we have is, um, so hold on a minute because I have Blake telling me that she, he doesn't have audio. So can you probably, probably offer, can you check if you have audio, if you're listening to me, can you tell me? I can hear you, okay. So it must be your computer um, that doesn't have audio and he's not hearing me. So I'm gonna continue uh, with, um, the other scanners that we uh, explore on the past weeks. So the first one was the candlestick scanners. And then we talk about the stock scanner package that has the stock screener, market action scanner, consistency scanner, and the PTS stock investigator. So today, what we're going to talk about is the breakout scanner and the breakout dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to open those two on your system, breakout scanner and the dashboard. Um, the first one that I'm gonna go to is the breakout scanner and just make this with the layout configuration icon. I'm gonna go to the full screen so you can see it bigger. So this will um, tell you stocks that are doing a five day uh, they break out 20, 50, 100, 200 to the upside and to the downside. And also you can check which ones are above either the 20, 50, 200 day simple day moving average and you can apply filters for, for price and volume. So let's check all of the conditions and let's delete the volume and let's say we're not gonna do price filters or volume filters for now. I'm gonna load the symbols, NASDAQ 100 and scan. And this is what you're getting. You're getting all of these results, 5, 20, 50, 100, 200, breakouts, breakdowns, 
on the right hand side, um, if you scroll, you will see which ones are above the 50 day moving average, uh, 20 and 200 day moving average. If you, with all of the scanners, you can click on the title and the results will come up to the top. And uh, we're gonna see this in action on the chart. So the first thing that we have to do always when we open new scanners is to link them to the charts. And now we're gonna split the screen again. We have the chart on the right hand side. And we would like to see is this first stock clock that is breaking out uh, on a five day, 20 day, pretty much in all of the time frames. What that means is that that particular symbol is making a 200, taking the biggest uh, breakout, 200 uh, day uh, high. Uh, and when so, when a stock is doing either the breakout or breakout breakdown on a 200 day, probably is doing it on a 100, on a 50. So that's pretty much what is happening here. This is the highest high in 200 days. And let's look at one breakdown here, like this one. So this is pretty much the opposite. This is the lowest low of the last 200 days. So it, it will all start with five days, probably. And like this one, for example, is making a higher high on the last five days. So one thing I want to note is that it doesn't matter if, if the price is below or above the 50-day moving average, okay? What matters is if the breakout is happening on a 20-day, on a 5-day, or on um, the other days, 100, 250 day. So it's basically the price today is the highest high in 100 days, then you're gonna have a 100 day breakout. And if it's the lowest low in 100 days, it's going to be a 100 day breakdown. So we're gonna look at another stock. So this is the case. On your chart, you can add like horizontal lines for that scanner. So if you click, right click, and let's take the breakdown for 100 bars or 200 bars here. It's going to show you uh, this particular symbol is doing that for the last 200 bars. If I change that to Intel, for example, so you know this will be, you know, this is the lowest low. This will be the breakout zone for 200 bars. And uh, you can kind of predict, you know, if you wanted to, uh, which are the breakouts or breakdowns that you want to highlight on your chart and then see if the particular stock will reach them. So you now, now know in advance that the 100 uh, breakout zone is at 35.06 on Intel. And you can leave that, you know, it doesn't go, it, this is, doesn't going to change uh, it only changes in time. So if it goes, you know, like in three months, this hasn't happened, the price hasn't reached this level, then probably the level will move to this high, okay? Because it's counting back only 100 days. But um, those zones um, are available, right clicking on the chart, and then you highlight the breakout, the breakdown, or you can highlight the zones. Let's, let's do 50 bars here. And this is the zone for the 50 day breakdown. So you have those colors to uh, available when you buy the breakout scanner. And now we're gonna talk about the dashboard. So I'm gonna open the screen again. Let's go to the breakout scanner and see that I don't miss anything. So with the breakout scanner, you also get the heat map. I particularly like the pie because it's showing you uh, a statistics of how many stocks are above the 50 day moving average or like this three, 20, 50 and 200 day moving average. 
and which stocks are on a five day breakout, like 51%, I mean, like 50% of the stocks of the NASDAQ 100 are having a five day breakout because the market has gone up during this day. And as you can see, just 12% is on a breakdown. But that also tells you which sectors may be the weakest sectors in the market. So there is a lot of information that you can draw from here when you're looking at a statistic. Uh, and you can also always add the price filters. So if you want to have a stock uh, that is only $50 uh, in price and scan again, you're going to have that uh, filter. Now, anything that is above $50 is going to show you a breakout or a breakdown. So when you're choosing pricing of stocks, maybe you don't want to have stocks that are super priced, but just from $50 to $200. So you can use those um, price filters and volume filters to filter even more your results. And then again, you can uh, save the list. Okay, so let's say that you send the list or save the list. Um, to the scanner to filter out the signal. So we're going to filter the ones that are on a five-day breakout. Okay. And we're going to send that to the multi-scanner and the PTS Extreme Trend Scanner. So now we only have those symbols that were between 50 and 200 and that are making a five-day breakout, which means that are making new highs in five days. And now we're going to scan even further to see if we have signals either for strategy four and five, which we don't, because if they are on a five-day breakout, it means that they're not on a pullback. And that's why we're not getting the signals, but we're getting, you know, like on the PTS stream trend scanner, we can see uh, the strength of some of these stocks like this one. Okay. So that's pretty much about the scanner and the dashboard is the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that you will not be able to check this, uh, you know, whatever you want to show on the, on the scanner but it will show everything. You just have to choose the uh, instrument list and it's going to show you all of those results without you being able to choose. So it's just a dashboard. And the breakout scanner will have this heat map group table. Uh, you can move the list, the column manager, this one only has the send list and the save list. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it's a dashboard. So that's about the breaker scanner. So I wonder if you have any questions about this one. As always, I'm gonna give you like a minute to think. And I had a question today on my email that I wanna talk to you about. So someone asked me today if if the chart, you know, this is 750 bars on a daily time frame is, is roughly three years. And this person wanted to see more than three years on the chart. And the question is, how do you change the number of days that you can look at, at a chart uh, once the chart is open? So you cannot do that. You have to open a new chart. And instead of having the bar history for 750 days, you should put the bar history to whatever number of days that you want. And then that chart will open, you know, differently than the other. It will open, you know, like in a longer time frame. So you can't not do that from the chart that is already open. You have to do that from a chart, a new chart that you open. So I'm gonna change that to a one daily time frame so you can see, you know, back up 2016. So that was the question for today. So if you don't have any questions about the breakout scanner and the breakout dashboard, that's it for today. And uh, next week, we are going to talk about the PET, the master scanner. 
And the webinar is going to be at 12.30 noon next Thursday the 19th. Um, so uh, have a nice day and thank you for coming. Bye-bye.